So we built up a beautiful lava powered factory last time we played Hydroneer, but my thinking is this factory isn't big enough. No, we only have two little drills drilling the worst of the ice and we're also melting the ice into, well, steam to power the conveyor belt. Unfortunately, all of the drills are chained up and I can't buy any more, so we're gonna have to make some. Look at that, Lava Drill Masterwork Design. It's 240 credits. Also, we can build a shovel and a pickaxe. And then there's the uh, Lava Harvester. So if I buy this thing, it's 240. Can I get the Harvester too? I don't really need one. Well, let's just see. Can I afford it? 450. I've got a nice solid 378 money and I can't quite steal that. So I guess we'll just get this one for now. Now the thing is, there's the two metals at the bottom. We have 100 and 500. I think the one on the right is Cloudium which we actually haven't mined yet. And I think that might be because this plot is pretty garbage. So I was looking at the map right here. There it is, floating map, obviously. We are in Dawn Rest, but there's one called Waterside over there. That's pretty close to New Glade. And if we're gonna move in there, we probably need some money. So let's go over here. We're gonna try to make a gold ingot of, not a gold ingot, but like a gold tool of some sort, maybe a necklace. Yeah, you stupid, that's not even right. Oh my goodness, we're so broke. But I can make a sword, I can make that. Oh, we can make a ring. We get two gems. Interesting. I did see something else too. You guys have told me that there is a new resource and it's right here, the diamonds. I didn't realize diamonds were a thing in this new update. So if I place diamond A into slot three and diamond B into number two. We can cook that on the barbie. Is that, is that a word? Like Australian grill or something? Where's my hammer? That's not a hammer. Hello, hammer. So as soon as that heats up, we can take that, drop it off right in here and then go wabam. Nice, we have a little teeny tiny ring. Oh, look at that, it's got a diamond in it. The gold bar is 474.1, diamond to 0.8. Sell it to the stonks, jeweler, or trade with a villager. No, let us see what the stock market will take for it. Hello? Oh, that's, oh, gems, okay. Pendant, oh wow, that's 9,000. Okay, pendants and rings are 9,000. That's actually enough. That's a good amount. I should take all of the gems here too, because that's 110% demand. And I think we're coming up here on another dinosaur bone, but I believe Waterside is right close to us. Where'd that bone go? Hey, where are you? There you are. What is this one? Hmm, a hydrosaur rib. Okay, yeah, Waterside. That looks good. How much is this? 5,000 for that land? I'll take that. We'll go in here, drop this off in the trunk and doink. Beautiful. So the annoying thing is that I can't afford any more of this stuff, so I have to tear down this entire factory and rebuild it in Waterside. So I started digging everything out, and I was like, nope, that's stupid. Time for bombs. So I went and bought some bombs at the bomb factory, and here we go. I have to manually t press these. I'm hoping that here in Waterside we can dig down a little bit. Maybe I need some more. Hey, and we'll go one over, two over, and down. All right. Hopefully that works. Hopefully these spread. Nice, it spread. Balls, my thingy broke. Now I need more handles. That sucks. I think the worst part is, I don't even think there's any of that logic stuff here at this city. Is there a manual? There might be a manual switch somewhere. Valve hook, gauges, magnifying glass. Oh yes, logic lever. Oh. Oh, I was hoping I didn't have to go. Cause like, this is on the top side of the map up here in New Glade. The only other place is in that bottom right shattered outpost. That's the other place that I know to buy switches. So if I use my brain properly, it might be a good idea to get like, I don't know, three levers because I know I'm gonna blow them up anyway. And real talk, I still have 1800 money. So that means I can buy roughly 10, 12 more bombs. So I'll just generically plop a few of these inside of my truck. Then we'll go ahead and purchase them without thievering. Oh yeah, 1200 money. And let's see how this works. Now my thought is that this one's gonna interact with that one and it should blow out that entire area. Let's see. Or that one didn't blow up anything else and I just wasted like an entire lever, which is really annoying, but maybe this one will work. Yeah, that one worked, nice. I also have a staircase down now and we're still not to bedrock. So we'll grab our other lever from here. We'll jump down into the hole and we'll see if this one works. Come on, bedrock, where? Oh, that was loud and irritating in my ears. Ha, huh, that's still not bedrock depth. Come on, we need to find bedrock. 
I mean, I don't really want Bedrock itself. Okay, turn around that way. What I really want is just to know where Bedrock is so we can go slightly above it. That's where the good high quality money is. High quality money. The, the ore that has the highest money. Oh, okay. Is this it? Is this like tier two? It might be. That looks flat at the bottom. I kind of forgot that there were different tiers of ore in this game. But if I grab my trusty rusty pickaxe and jump down here, I should be able to get out and, oh no, it can dig farther. Interesting. Okay, we'll place that down and I should be able to yoink that. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so that is the bottom of tier one dirt. If we can set up our system right down here, we should get max profits for the tier one. So after roughly an hour, we have pretty much a factory set up down here. It's not fully functioning, but I think if I take this shovel and then jump down into the hole and then jump down in the hole again, I can put in juice right there. Please work. No, that's the wrong button. Oh, I forgot we have to get the hammer. Ooh, hey, that actually might be the problem. There's a little bit of a nugget right there we have to get rid of. Come on, stop being annoying. There you go. And then put you down, and then we'll rotate it like so, and then we'll switch the button. Yes, all right, nice. That's not what I wanted either. Is there a button? This is the melty thing, right? Ice melter, yeah, it melts. Did I have it backwards? I might have had it backwards. Okay, that's the automation. We have water out, and I'm pretty sure that's the power in and activate why are you bouncing like a dingus you dingus you're supposed to be powering this entire conveyor belt system there is lava going there right yeah that's definitely lava oh balls why did i have to put it down too far in the ground okay get unshovel oh right this is this is the this is what i really love is burying things and then never be able to find them again because you put it down deep in the oh no but the other question is what is this thing frost rock a clump of frost rock can be split with an ice pick into smaller clumps refined resources by the harvester okay does it pop out of here okay it does now here's another question if we just take this thing and i know i know we're just gonna bring this drill up to the top drills are kind of expensive and if I take this drill and I plop it down on here, remove that thing and then shove it back into this. Uh, I just really, I know this is just a Frankenstein mess right now. I don't really care. I just really need to know if this works. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So notice how this is just an ice. It's just a clump of ice. And then if I put the ice into that thing, it should produce water. So good news, friends. After a little bit of remodeling, we finally have a working water pump. It pushes the water inside. That goes down in the conveyor. Let's grab our pickaxe because I don't want to come up here again. The conveyor are running, all of them, I believe. Yep, it looks good. It looks good so far. Uh, that thing is grinding. I know it's a little dark because it's kind of nighttime. And if we turn these on, they should function. We have lights, we have, go why is that one? Oh, that might be a higher quality one. All right, regardless, uh, it's working. We're putting things, oh great, I forgot about that point. Uh-huh, all right, why did the gold not, go? is that not gold? Oh, that's core stone, ha-ha, <laughs> that's the thing we're looking for. Hey, come back here, hey, no, dingus, nah. That's not core stone, that's hard rock cafe. Come back here, gold. Gold nugget, Goldie boy, Goldilocks. Got it, right there. Okay, drop it on, filter it over. We're gonna have to unfreeze this. There it is. That's looking good. Look at it go. <laughs> We're making money. I probably should get the rest of this functioning too. Where's the core stone though? Like for real, for real. Next thing we need to do is yeet down the furnace into the hole down below. No, nope, not me. We gotta stay up. We gotta stay up. We're gonna put in the crucible as well. And then a few of these stupid buckets. That one's got rocks in it. This one's got gems in it. This one has rocks in it too. Oh, that's comforting. Things are getting mixed already. I don't like that. Okay, you need to be put right about here. Uh-huh, just like so, right in the hole. Surprisingly perfect, nope, right here. That's stupid, I love it. All right, you're gonna go down in here. Uh-huh, and then we're gonna put the crucible, because I don't have enough money to buy these other things, so it is what it is. This one also has gold in it, shoot. Well, you know what? Ah, that doesn't work, because if I put it here, all of the silver that's gonna drop into that 
is gonna get converted into nothing, right? But I could do this. We'll take that out and then we'll put you here and I'll take that off, put that one here. We'll take this one off. Come here, all right. And it's working because, yep, the, the iron went into the one, cool. Now I just need to get you placed properly so you capture the juicy little money bits. That would maybe have worked. Come on, juicy money bits. Does it go in the hole? It goes in the hole. Okay, and the hard rock goes in too. Beautiful. The other fun thing was I was gonna make this so I could expand it indefinitely, and then I put all those things down here and it's not gonna be able to expand because I didn't blow up the rock. That's why I'm not supposed to be planning ahead on things. All right, get in here. Cool. All right, that's gemstones. I did see a diamond float through, so that was cool. Maybe that one. Yeah, a little diamond. And we also have the claudium ore that we really, really need. Let's actually turn this over. We're gonna take that off. We don't need the core stone so much that I know of, but the claudium is really what we're gonna be going for because we need the bars to unlock the other things. So does that go in the hole? It does, very nice. So we're starting to get some of the claudium that we need. We have a few other mischievous things here. I'm gonna let this run and go get lunch because it's been three hours and I'm hungry. What should I have? What did you have for lunch? Yeah, let me know what you had for lunch in the comments. A few moments later. So good news, friends. I had a barbecue chicken sandwich. It was pretty good. And we have a lot of cloudy. I don't know if it's a lot. We have Claudia. That's, that's as far as I'm going to go. So let's shut this system off real quick. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Oh, you know what we need to do. I actually need to mine this out because <laughs> those other things that I used in there are now gone. Right? The What are they? The two bars I made in there, they're, they're disappeared. Also, this is awkward. Oh no. Oh, that's really awkward. Oh, help. What have I done to myself? There we go, free it up. Okay, you guys go that way. You're gonna pour into there. We're gonna grab this little nugget of money. Now I'm hoping we can use this iron block as well. We should be able to use that to make some things. Then we're gonna take this entire load of Claudium bars, drop it into here. Oh boy, I need to make sure this is done right. Okay, you see the black circle? It's gotta be in there. Nice, nice. And then we make a bar out of that. No idea how much that weighs, but we're gonna take it up to the peak of the volcano. I don't even remember how to get up there, but we gotta get up there. I'm guessing there's a little, yeah, there's like a road, isn't there? That's where the giant forge is. So if we can use the volcano forge to craft us some more drills, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, I found a road. Does this take me anywhere? It's kind of a road. Is this an old road? This whole side of the map is like abandoned and stuff. Oh, I actually see the road. You see the little spires up there? So we're getting close. Looks like it corkscrews down. And watch with my luck, we're gonna get up on top of that stupid thing and it's gonna be like six ounces of Claudium too little. But I did find a dinosaur bone, so we have that going for us. We'll just quickly grab one of these and slap it to the back of the truck and then find the entrance to the path. Okay, so this should take us all the way to the peak of this mountain. I am hoping so much that we have the right amount of Claudium to be able to uh, build another drill. If not, maybe a pickaxe. So whatever you do, don't look down. That's a sketchy road. Plus it's covered with ice. There's a lot of comments actually like, how can there be ice and lava at the same place? Like, have you guys heard of Iceland? The country? There's ice and lava there all the time. Just because the underneath the ground is hot, that doesn't mean that the above ground has to be hot to get on. No, 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 no. Do a sweet black flip. Yeah, that was great. All right, nailed it this time. Car's getting a little bouncy. We can get off properly. And now we have to figure out how to use this masterwork forge up here. Whoop! <laughs> Why are there trees growing at the top of a volcano? Is that the caldera? Is that a big word? I feel like that's a big word. Oh, I actually see it right here. Okay, let's look. I've got the claudium bar, totally stuck in the back of my truck. We're gonna plop it in right here. I've got the iron bar, which I'm totally hoping is the right amount too. And we've got our thingies. All right, is that the drill? Master work drill, lava drill. Yep. Okay, 500 and 100, that's the objective here. I don't know if that is how it's supposed to be. Maybe I need to explore the rest of this place. Oh, the Hygienier logo, that's cool. Uh-huh, tell me again how you feel. Okay, hold up here. There is a pot, it's bouncing. That's good sign, actually. And is there another pot over here? Oh, I saw the platform. I like this, how there is literally zero instruction how to use this thing. But that goes on to here. 
It did it. It successfully successed. Now if I pull the cord. We don't have enough material. Okay, so I need to pour it out. Oh, and then that's where it gives us. I got it. I'm picking up what I'm putting down. It's super hot. Claudian bar. I also have the harvester. We'll put one of these down. My ship is glowing. Is it a ship? I don't even know. How much does this take? This is just 80. We, we could do one of these. That's just 80 for the tier one pickaxe. Is that the pickaxe we already have though? It might be. I'm pretty sure it is. We don't need to waste any resources. All right, time to get a whole buttload more Claudium. Kind of want to take the shortcut home to where is home? Probably not that way. I forgot that we can drive in lava because this is a lava proof truck. So we're just driving around floating on the top of a lava caldera, but we're ready to fly off a lava fall. This will be awesome. You ready? You ready for this? This needs an achievement. Drive off. Oh, balls. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, we're all right. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you see that sweet barrel roll? This really needs to fill up. Oh boy. Hey, we're driving on a lava fall. This really needs to fill up the lava container in the back. Just tumble down the mountain. It's okay. Nobody will mind. Whee. And nailed the landing. Beautiful job. All right. So I went back up and I grabbed my bar that was up top. I wanted to see how much weight this was. Oh, great. Of course. <laughs> It, it fits under the ground. Been just trying to make things. All right, so that was 81.83, and that was roughly an hour of AFKing, and the iron bar is at 409. If I remember right, it was 100 and 400 to make uh, the thing that we needed. So I need to grind up quite a bit more down here, turn these things back on, probably break out the shovel and do some manual mining too. Okay, it's been a hot minute, and uh, I think we finally have enough. I did measure it. We've got, should be enough for three. I also made me realize partially way through this that I probably should have just done one and then and then a second one and a third one. But no, 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 no. I wanna grind and do it all at once because I like pain and suffering. So you, my little friend, you're the drill, right? Lava drill? Yep, yep, yep. You're gonna go on here like so. Those things got in there. I do have one extra iron bar. This iron bar had like 3000 iron in it. So that's gonna be way plenty. Nice. Okay, and we should be able to go back. Oh, it's working. Oh my goodness. That thing just crushed out. I was not expecting that. Hot dang, we got ourselves a lava drill. How many can I make? I think I can make three. My, my math says three. Oh. Balls, get, what are you, stop that. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Why are you, why do you have to do this game? Just put the dumb thing, don't, and then just, just uh, come on now. As I was saying, it just needs three of these and everything will be good in the world. Uh, and nail it, good. Come on, come on, and doink. Ooh, that's ominous. Why did it go here instead of the other spot? I also figured out how to do this best. I can just jump up in the back like a dingus and then hit Q. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop, you're, mm -hmm. no, uh-huh. There we go. And then I jump into the cab. As long as that thing doesn't roll down into the volcano, we're gonna be all right. In the hole, in the hole. Wouldn't it be cool if I could make four? Oh, I don't even know how to do, I'd be so excited. And nailed it, what was that? like a floater in my eye. All right, we're gonna try Una Moss and see what happens here. I don't think this will work. I think there's enough iron, but not. Oh, there is. What, I got four? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was thinking there would be three. Is the math wrong? Is my, my math must be wrong. This is gonna like triple. Okay, so it's gone now. Weird, the iron bar's still here, but the Claudium isn't. Interesting. All right, friendos, made it home with our new drills and they don't want to do anything right. I'm going to totally need to remodel this thing again. I'm, I'm in like five and a half hours on this recording now, which might not be a great thing, but you know what? We need to remodel this and move everything over. I also think I'm going to bring all of this stuff up and onto this main floor here so we can have like a, an actual processing center. And I'm going to let this run mostly while I'm doing it, I hope. I don't even know if I can do that. Probably can't. But I tell you what, my friends, all of these drills will be the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed our adventure using a volcano to craft us some pretty good drills. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. 
and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hibius, General Harris, Trent M, Kudino, Keegan H, Lewis C, Zarnoff, Maxer, Rao, BC Engineers, Cars and Wax, Whiskey, YH, Gun Jam, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Scanner D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Rip the Warrior, Link Hewitt, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, Grim Reaper, Kaitsu, Rob Rugby, Terno, and Abram Jeep.